Hey everybody, it's Marina Love Movement here, www.lovemovement.ca. Uh, today I figured I would make a video for everybody uh, just to talk about consumerism and try to get everybody to uh, think about what's good in terms of uh, what stores to shop at. And when I say that, I mean what's righteous and what stores are coming from a place of love and not greed. I do not support companies that support greed or come from a place of greed. I will not, I do not, and I refuse. And uh, for example, when it comes to my groceries, I stop, I shop at, um, you know, health food stores that I've researched and I know have a lot of knowledge on um, what the products are that they're selling and the kind of philosophy that's behind them, etc., etc., etc. And um, I just want everybody to kind of think about that since it's my mission here to um, inspire and connect people to what's valuable, useful, and real, essentially. And um, I just really want everyone to kind of think about the groceries that they're buying, since the food that they're eating really is, it becomes a part of you. So if you're eating a lot of canned, processed, packaged, boxed food with uh, ingredients on it that you can't even pronounce, you don't even know what's in there, those things are going to become parts of yourselves. Those things are going to become parts of you. So you need to think about that, you know. It would be a good thing for you to shop at a health food store or like a farmer's market and buy your food directly from that kind of stuff. Um, it would just be a lot more better for you in terms of uh, nutrients and whatnot. Also, a lot of the times when you support these smaller businesses, you're supporting someone directly, not a corporation where there's all kinds of stuff involved in the process it's just usually it's just one person on top or a few people on top with a few investors you know it's not some crazy hocus pocus stuff going on with all kinds of employees and nonsense you know it's just get simple get to the source you know for example I live between Calgary and Montreal at the moment and uh, for me here in Calgary where I am at the moment I shop at a store called Light Cellar and uh, the reason why I like Light Cellar is because I'm a raw foodist, and uh, for me, it's kind of hard to find a lot of these superfoods and kind of the stuff that I eat in bulk for a decent price. And at this store, I can find exactly what I'm looking for at a decent price. You know, the salespeople are really wholesome. Uh, they offer you free samples of things when you come in, just so you can try out the product. And uh, on top of that, I'll ask the sales girl, I'll be like, you know, where does this cacao come from? She'll be like, oh, this cacao comes from Peru, from this farmer, and whatever. So you know you're supporting a really divine source here. And uh, for produce, like for fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, I frequent the organic section of um, different health food stores. But I try to sway away from uh, shopping at stores like Loblaws and Co-op and IGA and whatever else because I find a lot of the times you can't really trust what's organic anymore. In these smaller health food stores, a lot of the time their produce is coming from a local farmer. And the key to health is to support these businesses because this food is nutrient dense. And that's what I'm trying to get at. You know, stuff that's coming from your local farmer, it hasn't been in transport for a long time because the second something is picked off the vine, it starts to lose its its value, you know. So, uh, you know, if it's local, it's, it's more nutrient dense. It's coming from a better source. It's going to you know, give your body that right kind of nutrition that it needs to function at an optimal level. So um, that's the reason for my video today. I just want to get everyone to think about where they're buying their food from, where they're buying their, their clothing from, where they're buying their stuff from. Are you supporting a greedy company? Or are you supporting someone directly who could really use your money, who puts their love into everything they're selling? That's what I really want everyone to think about today. I'm really excited also for myself right now because I'm launching my well-being project finally. Um, I've had my blog at www.lovemovement.ca going for a little while now, a couple months here. But now I'm going to launch my website finally to offer to humanity my services in health, natural health and well-being. As well as I'm going to offer a bunch of other things too. I'm not going to reveal too much now because I want to have an exciting launch for everybody. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get everybody to think about that. I've got some good news coming. I'm going to help uh, as many people as I can through this website uh, with nutritional consults, etc. I really want people to get healthy and get real. That's the whole idea behind love movement and behind Marina Love Movement. 
it's just my philosophy. I really want to connect people to what's valuable and useful nowadays. This world's gone crazy, man. Everybody's consumed in things that really aren't important, that really don't uh, don't benefit you at the end of the day, really don't benefit your life, don't benefit your family, you know. You really got to start thinking about what benefits you, what benefits your family, what benefits those that you care about. You know, it's all about getting real people, and I really want everyone to think about that today. So uh, that's really all I have to say. So just think about it next time you decide to go to co-op or IGA or Loblaws or wherever you're shopping. Just think about where this food is coming from and what exactly it is that you're eating. Read the ingredients, read the, the packages, and get to know what's going on in terms of what you're putting in your body, people, because that's really, really, really essentially important. So uh, if you want more information, you can check me out on my blog at www.lovemovement.ca or you can stay on this channel and check out the disco section if you really wanted some entertainment, some uplifting vibes to get you going for the morning, noon, evening, whatever's going on in your day at this time. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to tell everybody I love you even if you don't love me back. It's the whole key, the whole principle in life, love the divine conqueror amazing thing when you just send out love to the world it comes right back at you whatever you focus on expands so if you focus on that love guess what's going to be what's going to be your reality people l-o-v-e <laughs> namaste